Get more now on the first manager who parted ways with his club yesterday. That was Brendan Rodgers. He left Leicester after four years. Our reporter Daniel Kahn for us at Leicester's training ground this morning. Good morning, Dan. Tell us a bit more about the timing of Brendan Rodgers' departure. Yeah, good morning, Bella. The timing of Brendan Rodgers' mutual parting ways with Leicester comes after their 2-1 loss to Crystal Palace this weekend, which leaves Leicester in the relegation zone. And Leicester really reluctantly made this decision after giving Brendan Rodgers all the time they could this season to turn things around. When we look at the season as a whole, Leicester started the season seven games without a win. That included losses to Brighton and Spurs, 5-2 loss to Brighton, 6-2 to Spurs. But then before the World Cup break, they were able to turn things around slightly. They won three of their last four games before that break. But after that, they just couldn't get a consistent run of results, or positive results, I should say. They did beat Spurs 4-1, got revenge on that 6-2 loss earlier in the season in February. But since that game, February 11th, they haven't won a game in the league. So ultimately, Leicester made the decision uh, to part ways with Brendan Rodgers. And when we look at the timing, as you mentioned, going forward, they have 10 games left. And five of those games are with teams that in, are in and around them. Wolves, West Ham, Everton, Leeds and Bournemouth to come up. So ultimately, the Leicester board decided that they probably needed a fresh voice to get some results to hopefully survive uh, this Premier League season. Daniel, you mentioned that it was a reluctant decision by, by the board because Brendan Rodgers, he did achieve a lot, didn't he, in his four years at Leicester, notably the, the, their first FA Cup win back in 2021. Do we know if they've got anyone in mind to replace him or is it just, you know, that, that refresh and that energy that they're looking for? Are they going to take their time? Yeah, as you said, I mean, Leicester mentioned it in their statement yesterday when they announced the parting ways with Brendan Rodgers that he leaves the club as one of the most successful managers in their history. You mentioned that first ever FA Cup win that Rodgers led them to a 1-0 win against Chelsea a few years ago and also successive fifth place finishes in his first two seasons at the club as well as, we forget, the European semi-final against uh, PSV in the Conference League that they lost eventually. But as you said, very successful here at Leicester. But going forward in terms of a appointment, Leicester hadn't spoken to anyone prior to Brendan Rodgers leaving the club. And ultimately, they have to decide uh, in the coming days and weeks whether they go down the route of an interim uh, appointment until the end of the season or someone permanently straight away. But all their focus will be on a huge game against Aston Villa tomorrow evening at the King Power. Exactly. They're back in action tomorrow. So the Leicester players haven't got long to let this sink in, have they? And also, if a win will take them back out of the relegation zone. So who's going to take charge of that tomorrow night? Yeah, I mean, it's a huge game against Aston Villa tomorrow evening, isn't it? This is an Aston Villa side who have won the most games in the league since Una Emery's took charge. Only Arsenal and Manchester City have won more than Aston Villa in that time in the league. And they've just come off a big win against Chelsea 2-0 on the weekend as well. So for Leicester, it's going to be a huge challenge. And as you mentioned there, who's going to take charge? Well, it will be two long-standing coaches here at Leicester, Adam Sadler and Mike Stowell. They actually took charge as caretakers a few years ago, the last time Leicester parted ways with the manager. That was Claude Puel in 2019. They had one game in charge and beat Brighton 2-1 in that time before Brendan Rodgers was appointed. And they'll be the ones taking charge tomorrow evening. And they have a lot of work to do against Crystal Palace. Leicester conceded 31 shots and only had three themselves. And what was Brendan Rodgers' last interaction with the media after that game? He highlighted that those were perhaps the deficiencies in this team right now. The amount of chances that they're not creating going forward and the lack of defensive solidity that this side have at the moment. So, as I said, uh, Stahl and Sadler have a lot of work to do before this huge game against Aston Villa at the King Power tomorrow evening. Daniel, thanks ever so much for that update. We'll speak to you shortly.